Once you've unboxed your MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer, you're ready for making things. If you haven't seen the unboxing video yet, make sure you click here and watch it now. In this video, I'll take you through the MakerBot Replicator 2 startup process, where you'll learn how to level your build platform and load your MakerBot PLA filament. The process should take between 5 and 10 minutes, and by the end, you'll be making things. The first time you turn on your MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer, you should be greeted by this message on the LCD screen. If you don't see something like that, don't worry. Just go to Utilities in the main menu and select Run Startup Script. Use the up and down keys to move the cursor and push the M to select. The left button often allows you to go back or cancel an action. And a blinking M means your MakerBot Replicator 2 is waiting for you to do something. The buttons are fairly responsive, so push gently. After giving you some basic information, your MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer will guide you through leveling your build platform. We've made the leveling process easier than ever on the MakerBot Replicator 2 with a three-point leveling system. During the leveling process, your MakerBot Replicator 2 will move its extruder nozzle to a variety of positions on your build plate. Your job is to adjust the distance between the extruder nozzle and the build plate for optimum makeability. You want that distance to be about the same thickness as this MakerBot support card that comes in your accessory pack. As you can see, it's 0.1 millimeters thick. At each position, you will be asked to slide the paper between the nozzle and the build plate and to adjust the corresponding leveling knob below the build platform. If your platform is too far away from your extruder, you'll need to loosen the knob by turning it this way. If your platform is too close to your extruder, you'll need to tighten the knob by turning it this way. Slide the paper through until you feel some friction, but so you can still move the paper back and forth freely. You will be asked to do this at the back of your build plate, then on the right side, then on the left, and then one more time to refine it a little more at the back, over the right corner, and over the left corner. And finally, you'll have a chance to confirm your adjustments with the nozzle at the center of the platform. Taking the time to correctly level your build platform is incredibly important. If you adjust your platform so that it's too far away from your extruder, the things that you're making won't be able to stick to the surface of your build plate, which means they probably won't turn out right, and they could knock themselves completely off of the platform. And if you adjust your platform so that it's too close to your extruder, you run the risk of scratching your build plate or jamming your extruder. If you end up doing that, make sure you watch the routine maintenance video. If you're having trouble, or if you just need to level your platform again, you can always repeat the leveling process by going to Utilities in the main menu and selecting the Level Build Plate option. After you've leveled the build platform, your MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer will prompt you to begin loading your MakerBot PLA filament. The extruder on your MakerBot Replicator 2 will be heating during this process, so be careful not to touch it. The first step in filament loading is to pull the filament guide tube out of the top of the extruder. Now trim off the end of your MakerBot PLA filament and feed it through the other end of the guide tube until you see the end of the filament come out of the tube. Make sure the filament loads up from the center so you don't get jams during printing. After you've fed it through, press the M to continue. Once your extruder has reached the correct temperature, your MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer will ask you to load the filament. Click through the message until your MakerBot Replicator 2 asks you to press the M when you see plastic extruding. Take the end of the filament itself and push it right into the hole in the top of the extruder. Make sure the filament goes into the center and doesn't get caught on the edge. You'll have to use some force and maintain pressure on the filament until you feel the motor pulling it in. You can then let go and watch for the noodle of filament to push its way out of the nozzle. Lastly, push the guide tube back into place. Let the noodle get a few inches long and then press the M to stop the filament from coming through. Don't be surprised if you don't see the color you expected. There's probably still a bit of filament in the nozzle from our testing process here at the MakerBot factory that we call the bot cave. When you're done extruding, wait a moment for the extruder to cool and then pull away the noodle of extruded filament. Your MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer will give you a few chances at loading filament before moving on. If you don't get it quite right the first time, you can always repeat the process from the main menu by going to Utilities, Filament Options, 
and then choosing Load. This is also the screen where you'll be able to unload your filament when you're ready to try out a new color of MakerBot PLA filament. Now, your MakerBot Replicator 2 Desktop 3D Printer will ask you if you're ready to make something. Insert the SD card, which can be found in your accessories bag, into the slot behind the keypad. If you've successfully leveled your platform and loaded filament into your extruder, answer yes, I am ready to make something. Your MakerBot Replicator 2 will drop into the Build from SD menu. Select one of the things we've preloaded onto your SD card, hit M, and watch your MakerBot Replicator 2 work its magic. Once you've finished making your first thing, take the build plate out and pull your object off the plate like this. You may have to rock it back and forth a bit and use some force. Now take a look at the bottom of your thing. The bottom surface should be completely smooth all the way across. If it looks uneven, your platform is probably higher on one side than the other. If it looks stringy like this, your platform is probably too far away from your extruder. Try the leveling process one more time. And if you still can't get it right, be sure to contact our expert support team by emailing support at makerbot.com. They're available Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. When you're ready to make more things, move on to the Makerware video, where you'll learn how to load a file into our software, move it, scale it, and make it.